All right. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Basham Yahushai, double honors to the elders, the apostles of Great Millstone, that surely do rule well. Salutation to the Akim that push this word out there in sincerity and in truth. Right? Um, this is Lamar once again from GMS Camp Trinidad. Right? Come to do a, a little video edit. Um, you know, on this full right um so-called prophet ll spencer right basically divining lies right about the scripture here second corinthians 8 9 or really actually i have too much precepts written down but you know moving through the spirit right um <clears throat> You know, hope it be edificational for the hopefully elect, right? Because this this guy, what he did, how he he basically broke down the scripture, Second Corinthians eight verse nine, right? Um, he says, for you know, right? Because he has just paraphrasing it, says, for you know the grace of our Lord Yahushai Hamashiach, right? Yahushai Hamashiach. For those who don't know, right? The name Jesus, the one who the, the people ignorantly call Jesus, right? That though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that ye through his poverty might be rich. Right? So, this um, prophet in Trinidad, L. L. Spencer, <clears throat> right? He is breaking down the script, and what he is saying here the rich, right? The rich here doesn't mean any kind of spiritual gift it means money but boy when i talk about your boy listening to the program and he draw a drop <laughs> because <laughs> sometimes you're really amazed at the wickedness of these pastors right he say the lord became poor so we can be rich with money and your boy draw a drop right he said this does not mean any spiritual gifts. Talking about that financial breakthrough in your life, you need money. This guy sung just like the Jake script for the other. You know, he bowled wherever the case is too. Right? And let Spencer is his name, Destiny touches the name of his program. Right? You know, I think I'll entitle this video as such withdraw thyself. Right? Because he defined him for filthy Lucas said. Right for money, right? He he leading the people back into to, to Egypt, leading the people into wickedness, right? I read it over for you know the grace of our Lord Yahushai Hamashiach, that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that he through his poverty might be rich, right? That he through his poverty might be rich. Now, just jump in. <laughs> To the book of Romans, let me see where that rich is. Romans 11, verse 7. Matter of fact, you know what? Talking about money, I'm going to go into a, a, a precept here. This is Zephaniah 1 and 18. Because guess what? Money, all right? Money. Long ago, really, actually, was gold and silver, right? Matter of fact, before I go there, real money was gold and silver, right? So this, this, this paper dollar, this currency that we have now these days, it's going to be done away with. Really, actually, it's not going to profit anything, right? So this is Ezekiel 13 because guess what? The Lord angry, right? So, so this, this, this guy. Right, basically saying it's money. But what money going on do money it's money going on profit you in the days of Yahba Shami and Shai Anger? Is it going on profit you in the day of the Mosairat? Right? This is Ezekiel 13 verse 4. It says, O Israel, thy prophets are like foxes in the desert. Alright? I mean foxes in the desert, they sly, right? They thief. They 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 look into the what? 
get out of these people pocket. You done poor already. I'm gonna do it. The 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 trying to to define the reaction you done poor. They're just bringing you into the church so they can rob you. And if by you it's not chance and the Lord send that strong delusion, right? That that two thirds of you people, two thirds of Israel, actually get some riches due to their divinations or other cases for you to put more money in their pocket right you said the, the, the um pastors are like greedy dogs right next time um they'll briskly bring in an increase right isaiah 56 verse um 10 going now because guess what that that, that sermon every sunday they come with a better sermon all right i have you people sing and dance and clap and wave all right, that is not teaching them the fear of the Mosai. It says, O Israelite prophets are like the foxes in the desert. Ye have not gone up into the gaps, neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel. Wait, wait, gaps, they're going into gaps to teach you people about, you know, you're warning them, you're warning them, you're making up the hedge, that wall, right? That is protection, that hedge is protection, right? For the house of Israel to stand in the day. In the battle, in the day of Yahweh, where is that battle, right? That battle is when the Mosai coming against the wicked, when he coming against the sinners, and you don't want to be caught as a sinner. You understand? They have seen vanity and lying divination, saying, The Lord said, The Lord said, and the Lord had not sent them. Because first of all, you pray in the name of Jesus, right? You that Jesus do, right? Yahweh by Shami al Shai had not sent you. Right? They have made others to hope that they would confirm the word. Right? Hoping in what? When poor people catching their ass over the cases, you have them hoping, uh, yeah, well, the Lord think I could get money. Right? The Lord become poor, so I could get money. That is wickedness. That is thinking on a wicked level. Alright? The Lord made himself poor so he could go out there and preach the word. Hey, think about it. The Lord make himself poor that he could go out there and teach. Because guess what? It's like something with some men in the truth too. Some men have to, to basically jeopardize their work in order to go out there on the highways and the byways. In order to make videos. Alright? So the people become rich. Rich in what? Rich in wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and fear. In the fear of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahshem. The fear of the Most High God. That is why Yahweh Shai made himself poor. Right, because yes, Yahushai was a carpenter when he was young. They bring frank frankincense and myrrh and, and gold and all these things for Yahushai. So, yes, Yahushai was rich, but he made himself poor. He said, the Foxes are holes and um, lions are dead, but the son of man had not a place to rest his head because why he had to go there and do his work. He had to make himself poor to go and preach to go and heal the sick, but why he had to preach. Why he had to preach and people could have that, that richness, the wisdom, and the knowledge of, 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 of the most high, right? You never see one of the apostles yet became um rich. Look at Paul. Did Paul become rich? Paul catchy royal ass. Paul catchy nenen. Paul always talking about the afflictions. Twice beaten, forty scourge, um, except one. Right? Shipwrecked. You you see Paul Paul ever get Paul gets smitten with blindness. You ever see Paul um talking about, about, about going and telling people about riches? Paul always talk about enduring affliction. When you're enduring affliction, you have to be poor. You ever see they talk about money, boy? Alright? This truth ain't about getting riches. The shoot ain't about getting riches. Hey, and the book of Luke, it says, Want to ye that are rich because you receive your consolation. Alright? Um, let me see if I can get a real quick. Alright? Because, hey, that, that is the doctrine of devils. Right, that is the doctrine of devil. See, he, he teaching right there, right? Bam bam, bam bam. Right, um, I'm getting it right now. Right, 
Boop, boop, boop. Sloop just now. Let me see. Um. Right. Hold on. Bear with me one sec. Right, so it is the book of Luke. All right, just now, just one sec, just one sec. All right, Luke 6, right? Um, Luke 6, 24, uh, Salak, yeah? right? Um, Luke 6, 24, but woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your consolation. So woe means destruction, all right? Woe means destruction. So destruction unto you that are, are rich, right? So you, from the time you hear somebody say woe unto you, the scripture say what? Well, it is easier for, is it easier for a camel to go through a needle eye than for a rich man to enter in the kingdom of heaven. From the time you push in that doctrine about money, what's going on with you? You like the you 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 destroying the people. Alright? You are destroying the people. Right? So I back into Ezekiel 13. Right? Oh Israel like prophets are like um foxes in the desert. You have not gone up into the gaps, neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel to stand in the day of battle. The day of Yahweh, right? Isaiah 63 verse 4 says, For the day of vengeance is in the most high heart, right? Because when Yahweh shy, the one who the world ignorantly called Jesus, come back. Guess what? It's not going to be no, no, um, hey, people getting tired. It's, it's not going to be no nice day, right? His arms are for 1 verse 15. I'll jump down. I'll start at verse 14. It says, The great day of the Lord. Right? Same thing. The day of the Lord. The great day of the Lord is near. Right? The great day of Yahweh is near. It is near and he is the great. Even the voice of the day of Yahweh. The mighty man shall cry there bitterly. Right? So the uh, coming here. See that time um, coming soon. Do, do it tarry. Right? Wait upon it. It will come. Right? Jump into verse 18. It says neither their silver nor their gold. Real money. Right, which the so called white man holding up right about now, right? Real money, it says, neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of your house wrath. But the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy, for he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land, right? So these pastors, like Clifford Dollar, right? Um, TD Jakes, the same Ellen Spencer, Winston Coffee, Benny Hens, they don't teach people the fear of the Lord, right? Those who fear the Lord, the Lord will basically pardon them. Because why they'll do his will. You you talking about the Lord made himself poor, that you can be rich, and that is money, boy. Aren't you wicked? Aren't you divining from your heart, boy? Alright? Which part of the scripture said that? Which part of the scripture said that? Alright? This is the book of um First Timothy chapter 5. Right, um, bop, 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 six. right, this is first Timothy chapter, um, six. Right, I start out with three. It says, If any man teach otherwise and consent not to the wholesome words. Even the words of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach and to the doctrine which is according to godliness, right? The doctrine according to godliness is, you know, basically, um, yeah, you have to repent, you have to turn from your wicked ways, seek the most high while he may be found, all right? Yahweh Shai talk about, um, fearing the Lord, not worshipping mammon, no man can worship two masters, 
right? You that hear love of no man can worship God and mammon, right? Money or wealth, all right? It says, verse 4, he is proud, knowing nothing but doting about questions and strife of words. And yeah, you could see the pride in Mr. L. L. Spencer's face, right? Where of comet envy, strife, railings, evil summarizing, perverse disputing of men of corrupt minds and destitute of the truth, supposing that gain its godliness, right? Them supposing that gain its godliness, it says from such withdraw thyself, right? So from such people would withdraw thyself. Right? These 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 people seek not the most high. The most high Yahweh Bashem Yahshai take white telegram and destroy all these pastors. All these pastors. Alright? Romans eleven verse thirty three. Let me see where his riches. It says all the depth of the riches. All the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of the most high. How unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out? Because the most high gets what? You have to keep the laws, the statutes, and commandments. That is pleasing unto the most high. True justice. That is what pleasing unto the most high. Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Not money. Right? Not money. Then the most high say in the book of Samuel, chapter 2. Right? First Samuel 2, verse 6 going on down. Said the most high make the both rich and the poor. Isaiah 66, 1 and 2. He had chosen the poor of the world. Right? Um, I'm going to this one one time. This is James. Right? The book of James. We are going blind. Right? Book of James, chapter 2. I believe it's around verse 5. Right? It says, um... Yeah, verse 5, it says, Hearken, my beloved brethren, had not the most high chosen the poor of this world rich in faith? That is riches. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, faith. That is the riches. And heirs of the kingdom which he had promised to them that love him, but he had despised the poor. When, you when it is you telling people about money, you dis you despising the poor. You looking not at the poor man as, as there is nothing. But them are the one who rich <coughs> towards the most high. Hey, the new scripture in Revelation 2 9 say, um, I know thy poverty, but thou art rich. So wait, wait, what was point? There, there was point with some knowledge and understanding about rich money. No boy. There, there was there, there was they was poor. They didn't have no money. They, 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 hey, the honest thing, they, they probably had was food and no amen. Right? They wasn't born luxurious. They wasn't born with no gold spoon in the mouth. All right? So I know thy poverty, but thou art rich, rich in what wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and faith towards the most high boy. Right? But ye have despised the poor. Do not rich men oppress you. The rich man is who the so called white man. Do not rich men oppress you as the other nations, right? And draw you before the judgment seats. Do not they blaspheme that worthy name by that by the which ye are called. Alright. Come on, come on, people are to hey, you got to wake up. The most I ain't the most I ain't playing wrong these times. Alright? The most I ain't playing wrong these times, right? Bear me one sec, just looking for some real quick. All right, all right, bear me one second. Right, um, for do I have bam bam bam? Um, Communications out here more sick come out here and buy medication. Right, this is um Colossians chapter three. I just um bring it up on the screen. Right, you go follow. Um right, Colossians chapter three is verse two. It says set your affection. Right, Colossians 3 verse 2, set 
set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. All right? So, yes, yeah, seek ye first the kingdom and the Messiah, all these other things will be added unto you. Hey, the Messiah, the Messiah will change our estate from being poor. Yes, it is the truth. All right? The Messiah ain't going on, but the, um, let us suffer. He ain't going to let us suffer. All right? But we have to go through that transition first. We have to know how it, how it, how it feels to be poor. Right? How it feels to be afflicted. So when time comes, we will judge in righteousness. All right? So we are going to have pride in we are. We are going to be proud. Most I hate pride, he hate proudness. All right? He, he making, he humbling us. All right? So when, when we get riches, we will know what to do with it. And it ain't going to be paper dollar. Right? It's going to be gold and silver. All right? We're going to have iron for stone. All right? Yes, the most I going to get riches, but from above, not with dot and not, not corrupt. All right? It is the Father's good um pleasure to give us the kingdom. But not this. A kingdom with righteousness in the book of Peter. All right? Yes, yeah, so yes, do 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 set it do, do set your mind on money, do set your mind on, on the real riches. The most high sent his son, Yahushai. Yahushai was rich, but though he made himself poor, it wasn't for money. He made himself poor that we will be rich in faith, that we will be rich in in wisdom, right? That we'll be rich in understanding. We'll be rich in knowledge. We'll be rich in fear towards his father, towards his heavenly father. All right? I uh, hope with that, you know, um, it was edifying enough, all right, that, that people think, think uh, put on their thinking caps, right? The Lord never make himself poor that we could be rich in the, in the wickedness of the world yet. With filthy lucre. All right, with that on to give our praises to the Almighty Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, right? Double honors to the elders, the apostles are great millstone, right? The fathers of Israel are surely do real salutation to the Akim that push this word out there in sincerity and in truth. Shalom Kal Akim keep on pushing this word and you know, they tear down, tear down the wicked, right? Grind them to powder, the great millstone. Shalom.